Thanks for watching Coin Collecting Fun, the king of hobbies and the hobby of kings. Hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and is greatly appreciated. And after this video is over, check out the link below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. And let's get that video to over 5,000 likes, over 10,000 comments, and over 100,000 views. Again, the link is below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. That video currently has over 2,100 likes, over 7,600 comments, and over 64,000 views. Again, let's get that video to over 5,000 likes, over 10,000 comments, and over 100,000 views. Again, the link is below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. If you enjoy this type of content, crush the like button crush the subscribe button. And if you do decide to subscribe, tap the notifications bell to be notified of future coin collecting fun videos just as soon as they're uploaded to YouTube. And be sure to share this video with all your coin collecting friends out there. Here is a 2003D Maine 50 States and Territories Quarter from the 50 State Quarters Program, the series 50 State Quarters. 231,400,000 were produced. This coin was designed and engraved by William Cousins and is composed of 91.67% copper and 8.33% nickel. The diameter is 24.3 millimeters and this coin's weight is 5.67 grams. The face value is 25 cents. However, this coin is currently worth 67 cents for one found in uncirculated Mint State 60 condition and can be worth as much as $1.43 for one found in brilliant uncirculated Mint State 65 condition. The melt value of this coin is just 5.74 cents, so a little under 6 cents in the metal value in this coin at this time. So not only would it be illegal to melt this coin down, it would be illogical to melt this coin down as the face value far exceeds the metal value in this coin at this time. We are currently enjoying a look at the front of the coin, or you may call this the obverse of the coin, or simply heads. Now let's go ahead and flip this coin over to enjoy a look at the back of the coin, or you may call this the reverse of the coin, or simply tails. And what a beautifully designed stunningly beautiful coin this is both front and back both obverse and reverse both heads and tails thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and check out coin collecting fun on instagram and coin collecting fun on twitter at coin collecting fun and have a great day